So here in the UK we try and have an um, impact on the people that we're working with by reaching audiences that wouldn't necessarily come to the zoo. So we go out into the community working with schools, with community groups, with individuals, with families, letting them know all about Chester Zoo, all about how to connect with nature and letting them know ways that they can um, enable and take action for wildlife both in the UK and overseas as well. So we have a program called Wildlife Connections which is all about UK native species. So I'm the um, kind of coordinator of everything to do with the Wildlife Connections campaign, making sure that we've got new resources for people to um, learn how they can take action for wildlife. I deliver and um, arrange different events um, for people to get interaction with local experts and visit nature sites but also I deliver a champions course so I have a wildlife champions course for um, community uh, representatives so people that work with community groups or in schools so they can learn a bit more about what they do for um, wildlife as well. We also have a safari ranger outreach program. So the safari ranger team go out into schools and into the community delivering workshops and running events or attending events um, in the community. Uh, we work in all schools um, trying to reach audiences that perhaps can't get to the zoo. And we deliver a repeat visit engagement program with them so we go back to the school a number of times, build relationships with the students and the teachers so that they go on a learning journey with us. So letting them know about our campaigns which are taking place or any uh, curriculum linked activities to make sure it's fitting in uh, with their school lessons but also making sure that they're understanding conservation and not only that but realising what they can do to get involved and to be part of it. The work that we're doing is really important for people and wildlife I think. Uh, there's so many things that each and every one of us can do to help wildlife but if you don't know what they are or you don't know what their impact is how can you do them? So by going out and speaking to people in in their own environment, encouraging them to take part to do even small actions and really make a difference, I think is really important for, for everyone. It empowers the people and makes a difference for wildlife. And the third section is supporting outreach education work overseas. So Chester Zoo supports um, various different conservation projects all over the world. And wherever those projects have an element of education or community engagement, then myself and the Discovery and Learning team get involved to support them through that. So that might be in training or capacity building, providing ideas for resources, and particularly helping them with research and strategic planning. These various different organisations, they're, they're small grassroots most of the time. They can come up with loads of brilliant ideas for engaging their local community, but they're not necessarily always finding out the impact of the work they're doing. And it's very important to us at Chester Zoo that we make sure that what we're doing is being effective for conservation. Thank you.